Hi, my name is Omar Khan and I'm a rug designer. I'm really excited to be here today to actually introduce to you my first ever Indonesian collection. It's something that's really dear to my heart and I wanted to be able to design something that actually reflected that but also complemented the modernity of what we're doing within our own collections. Allegra was designed actually after seeing this beautiful piece of stone that I had seen in a marble quarry. So we wanted to actually capture that, that beautiful gradation between all the grays, but somehow anchor it with this eye of onyx that we saw at the base of the stone. So what you're seeing there is, is, is that reinterpretation. I have been obsessed, obsessed with Sumba textiles. There's something so magical about it. It's so rooted in its, in its iconography. And to be able to translate that into a rug, especially with those tones of like dark indigo blue married with ochre. And we really managed to kind of like emboss all the carvings and, and engravings, which you normally would see in, a, in an embroidery. She's definitely one of the OGs. And it's funny because every time I showed my manufacturers this design, they were like, nope, can't do it, too difficult, too difficult. And you know what, my belief is, is that if it was easy, everybody would do it. This is actually a twin rug. We've got Asmara and we've got Ahimsa. They are both taken off the Sarabon culture and their, their designs from the Megamundum. And, and I think that when you see this design in the store, in our edit, alongside the furniture pieces, it's going to be really refreshing. It was something where I really wanted to celebrate tribal and what that felt like. You know, for a lot of people, if you're, if you're not, if you don't have that kind of sensibility with a lot of ethnic pieces in your house, it was a challenge in order to produce something that felt tribal but actually that could still sit well with any kind of neutral palette. And I think that Kartika does that really well. Hassani speaks to everything I love about gold. And in the seven years that I've been making rugs, the one bane of my existence has been trying to find the perfect gold. Because gold can go hokey real fast, so you have to be very careful about how you use it. And finally, I think we finally managed to get that perfect kind of vibrance in this rug. And, and Hassani is certainly a celebration of gold. So Umbu came, came about because I wanted it to feel like you still had the motifs of the Mega Mundung inside, but I wanted it to disappear. And this one has a beautiful start because it starts out with all the clouds and then it gradates into a basic texture. So it almost kind of like, like clouds do. When I looked at exploring geometric designs, again, I wanted to kind of see how I could marry my design sensibility and place it within a geometric setting. And um, in that respect, you know, we didn't make the full rug a geometric pattern, we let it disappear, which, which you know, to me has a nice dichotomy. It is one of the very, very, very first designs that I ever produced. I had, I had installed like this Degorne wallpaper of which had pagodas in it, and I kept looking at these pagodas, and and I and I and for the life of me, couldn't figure out why I couldn't find a rug that reflected that. And so I designed something based off that, and that you know the Minghua design was really the one piece that when I had completed it, made me decide to become a rug designer. So you know. It's, it's really the beginning of it all. Eka came about because I wanted to see, I didn't want to actually do a design that was full motifed. So I wanted to see what it would have been like if I had left the Sumba fabric on the ground and nature had started to overtake it. And so with this design, it was a real wonderful process to kind of see how we would carve out the mossy bits and slowly reveal the pattern afterwards. And the way that the green 
activates against that gray with the white patterning, it's actually really quite magical and, and, and one of my favorite actually.